Although from a part of the country where passion for the game is very real, we're here at Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leeds United, and they take on Southampton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So now a corner. Delivering it. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. <laughs> Elects to go short. Spot on with that tackle. Could be a chance to break here. Can they take advantage of the situation? It needs an accurate cross. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Adams. El Yunusi. Jack Harrison has it. Mark Rocca. This attack looks highly promising. Corner awarded. And there's the delivery. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. They couldn't maintain possession. Armstrong. It's with Musa Jenepo. Still passing it around with authority. And Yunusi. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle, and a corner will be next. It's a short one. Adams. Very quick thinking there. Bamford. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. It's looking promising. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Ward-Prowse. Aribo. 
Ahmed Belakotchap. The ball with James Ward Prowse. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Adams. Genepo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And there we have it, the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Elland Road. Well, he's been the standout for us. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And showing good defensive judgment. And a lead throw forthcoming. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Aribo. It's with Musa Genepo. Armstrong. Jay Adams. Genepo. Can he put it in? And he's got and scored to level us again. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. So, a level contest. 1-1. Aribo, Armstrong, the ball with James Ward-Prowse, opportunity to deliver the cross, Adams, and moving the ball impressively here, oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, the Leeds fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise, but can they get the winner now? And a chance to whip it in here. They could nudge in front. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Elianusi. Kyle Walker Peters has it. Aribo. And it comes down to the final five minutes. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Jay Adams 
Well, he's given it away. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Aribo. So the final whistle has sounded and it is a Leeds United success story in the end. How would you sum this up? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just...